So hello, good evening, everyone. Uh, today, I would like to tell you something about uh, SAP Cloud certification. I think last time I shared with you uh, SAP Cloud certification related one video on YouTube. Uh, but actually, uh, you know, few months back, SAP has introduced SAP certification hub with a single attempt. Okay, so that I would like to tell you today. And uh, so along with that, so I also want to inform you about one more, uh, uh, you know, uh, latest update we can say with regard to SUSER ID. Okay, first let me explain to you about uh, SUSER ID, right? So there are a lot of changes uh, happened in the, I remember in the month of uh, November, somewhere it is going to be effective. It was effective from 2020 November. I don't remember exactly the date. So earlier, you know, when any individual, you know, whether you are an employee or a consultant from a consulting company, or otherwise if you are an employee from uh, a customer company, or if you are an individual, you know, when anyone comes to this uh, training.acp.com, so you are going to register your certification hub, and then which I have already explained here in one of the video. And in this video, like if you could see that SAP certification in the cloud, at that time, I told you that when you register, that even for individuals, Yes, user ID is generated like a unique ID. We can say SAP ID. But now the new update is Yes, user IDs are only issued if you are an employee from a consulting company or if you are an employee from a customer company. Suppose if you are an individual that trying to register a certification hub whether it is for a single attempt or whether it is for a six attempts so you will be provided with the education ID you will no longer get a user ID if you are going to register as an individual if you are a consultant from a consulting company if you are an employee from uh, success factors or SAP customer company so you are provided or created and provided with the SUS ID. But if anyone is registering, so you will not be provided anymore with a SUS ID, but you are provided education ID. But what happened last time, I have registered here as an individual for my own. Then you can see when I have issued, uh, when I created my account uh, as an individual for my own purpose, then what happened? Uh, this was a user ID with the starting with the S, uh, you know, character. But now, automatically, that if you see within the bracket, the digit, you, lo you no longer see that, uh, uh, you know, uh, the alphabet S, yes, you don't see it. Because it is now an education ID. It is not an S user ID. So you will be provided with the S user ID a kind of thing. If you are only from a consulting or a customer of SAP companies, okay? That's the one thing that I want to tell you everyone. And today, interesting thing is, uh, uh, you know, there are a lot of individuals are registering for uh, uh, SAP Cloud Certification Hub in the training.sap.com. And I'm sure that many of you are aware about uh, SAP Cloud Certification Hub with the six attempts, which I have already posted here almost six months back. But today, I want to tell you something, uh, uh, one more, uh, uh, you know, uh, we can say subscription plan you will also find in the training.sap.com all those who are planning for uh, uh, SAP certifications in the cloud. That is, see, when I, I think uh, if you want me to show you once again, and you can see when you register, you know, when you click on here, access, purchase, the subscription, and then uh, what happens, right? So now when you click on this, uh, this is going to take you to the access to the SAP cloud certification. And this is with the six attempts. So what I have done uh, uh, earlier and where it was not available, now the latest one. 
So what you have to do, you always go and click on here CR006 certification. Uh, you know, with the six attempts. So when you type it, so what happens, right? As I told you, like it is going to be like a 12 months access. You know, you please go and click on it. Uh, this is the one SAP Cloud certification with the six attempts within a bracket. And this is available for 43,000, which is excluded with the uh, taxation. Once maybe if you go with the uh, registration along with the taxation, I think as for an Indian currency, it may go up to somewhere 47K or around, you know, not above 50K. You know, this is available for 12 months access 24 seven. You can book your exam and you can write it. This is already explained actually in my, uh, you know, a previous video. And those who want it, know about it, you can watch this video. You'll find it on my YouTube channel. The, now, the latest one is, I'm going to tell you the code is CRS01. So, and again, here, CR stands for certification, single attempt, only one attempt. So, please go and search for it. So, when you click on it, you know, automatically you can see CRS01. SAP global certification online exam for a student. You know, this is for individuals with a one attempt. So please click on that link. So what happens now, you will be seeing it actually, the, it is going to cost around 10,000 uh, rupees change as for Indian currency, excluding the tax. So I think if you register for it, it may come somewhere 12,000 change INR. But actually this is only comes with a one attempt. This won't give you six attempts the six attempts code is a cr006 but one attempt one is a it's only one so at any cost whether you fail whether you pass it's up, up to you so prepare well and then go and uh, write your examination but this one is valid for 12 months access certification hub so where you can schedule or book your exam and with a proctor support online and you can uh, write it but you will be only provided with the one attempt, not six attempts. Six attempts kind of thing is a CR006. So what I will do when I go and click on add to my basket. So what happened now you can see the certification hub. And uh, you can see the this is only like uh, 10,934 rupees and I'll click on proceed to basket but i'm not going to register it because my certification hub is still valid you know for a few more months and i'm just adding it to my basket so once your subscription is successfully done anybody who is going to do proceed to check out that means you're going to enter your uh, address details and then you're going to enter your you know card details and you're going to uh, subscribe it on yearly basis so once the subscription is done and I request you all to come to this access purchase to subscription. And I want to show you one more thing, which is very important. So when you click on here, access SAP cloud certification. Now you are redirected to the cloud certification hub, uh, you know, homepage. I hope everyone is understanding, you know, that I'm trying to explain for you. So now you can see here the first and foremost that I want to tell you anybody who is registering for the first time. You know, please kindly try to first install and detect a question mark secure browser. So first try to install your secure browser, the question mark secure browser, and then immediately test communication and bandwidth. So once you click on it, now what will happen? The system will show you all the corresponding details that uh, whether it is supporting uh, your webcam and microphone operating system browser internet speed and etc so all this should be showing in uh, uh, you know ready option and acceptable then uh, what happens so you can come here to the exam dashboard but before that i want to tell you go to my account okay you can see your details here okay so now you won't find it like uh, anything like a s user id you won't you will find it like education id only because you can see the type here person type and here you can see the another most important thing the people don't forget to take care of it about this uh, time zone you know which you must be very careful there are some people they register with the uh, different regions and you are located in a different region what happens you know 
the time zone doesn't match so please try to choose your own uh, time zone that where you are located exactly and then uh, scroll down and then simply accept your terms and conditions and save the changes so this is what you have to take care then once you have done it if it is a, a crs01 sap cloud certification kind of thing if you are going to be going with that so come to the exam dashboard you know when you come to this uh, you will be seeing here just wait a moment it's still loading right so here you can see the attempts and i have already used out of six uh, uh, three attempts I have used it three more attempts are there but if it is a cr001 what happens it will be like a one by one so once your attempt is over uh, and you can use it anytime in one year and then book it and write it and make sure you are completing it otherwise your attempt will be wasted if in case if it is a cr006 even if you fail for the first time then you can lend yourself and then you can plan it for a, a second attempt and you can book and write your exam and you pass your exam so you can see that the outcome will be shown here in the exam dashboard once you book your exam come to your exam appointments and then uh, uh, you know you can see and i want to tell you even before 15 minutes your actual exam starts so before 15 minutes of your actual uh, exam start time and come to this exam appointments area and then here you will find an option like arrow button now you don't see it and then click on it and you'll be navigated to the uh, you know question mark secure browser and you'll be connected with the proctor and he will be verifying all your credentials like your passport your driving license anything with the name and the uh, photo of the candidate should be matching that which have registered with your uh, SAP cloud certification hub so these are all the few things that I want to tell you and uh, those who are looking for uh, CR006 please watch this uh, video which is here and I'm going to share this link uh, on YouTube uh, with the other uh, this one also CR0 CRS01 so now you have one attempt which is a CRS01 now you have a six attempts one which is a CR006 six attempts single attempt so you plan whichever you are looking for and then book for it and you write your examinations so i hope this uh, uh, topic may help you so that you can plan for your cloud certification hub registration with your own effort so you don't need to consult anyone so the site name is training.sap.com and then uh, enter your details and register and then uh, proceed okay thank you so much and i hope uh, it helps everyone those who are going to watch this video see you all again next time with uh, a new topic bye everyone